Hey everybody, Robert here again with A to Z Smart Home. Hope everybody had a great week. Um, sorry I didn't get anything published last week, but I had some family over and we were doing some things and I just didn't have time to uh, publish another video. There's just a couple things I want to talk about real quick today. Uh, one being accessories for our cell phones. Yes, I know it's not a smart home component or device, but our smartphones go everywhere with us. And so we need to have accessories that can uh, help us keep those charged and connected. Uh, so one of the things I wanted to just mention is this device right here. Um, my wife actually had one of those when she had her iPhone, which she no longer has, thank goodness. Ha. Um, and it was really convenient when we traveled. It folds up nice and compact. And there's three different sections to it. One is a QI charger for the phone. The other is a QI charger for the Samsung watch. And in the middle, they have a charger for your Samsung earbuds if you have those. Um, so this device here that I showed you is specifically for the Samsung devices. Um, it's all QI based. I guess you can use it really with any QI based uh, device. Not sure though that the watch part would work with a Apple watch or a Google Pixel watch, uh, but I do know it works fantastic with the Samsung smartwatch. So if you need one of those, go check it out. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description below and also there's a link on my blog at uh, www.a-to-zsmarthome.com. The other thing I wanted to talk about is um, our garages. <laughs> Probably one of the areas of our home that is goes unnoticed and we don't really think about it much. Um, there's a device I have. This is a MyQ uh, smart garage controller. And it sounds so simple, but it's been one of the most used components and devices of my smart home system. It allows us to open and close the garage door remotely. Um, I actually put a camera, a Google camera in the garage so I can also see if the garage door is open. Uh, the app for the MyQ app will alert you if it opens and closes. And it's been super useful. Uh, one of the biggest things that we've been able to use it for is if like we have groceries coming or there's gonna be deliveries made and we can actually communicate with the people, we can open the garage and then they can put our groceries or whatever it is we ordered in the garage and we can close it and keep it safe. Um, obviously the camera, I can kind of see what's going on, keep tabs and um, it's been super convenient. Um, there's a couple of different devices. Um, they'll be in the description below too. Um, one of them is a newer controller that uses uh, Wi-Fi and it can also use Bluetooth. And it doesn't um, actually connect to the network via a cable, but it doesn't have the little button on the wall, um, which to me I find a little odd because you know sometimes we just need to hit the button, um, but we wanna be able to integrate those smart features. The device I use is an older version of the controller uh, that has a like a hub that connects into my network switch for network access. Then there's a controller that goes on the wall that replaces the old button that has a couple other added features. One, it connects to the hub that you've connected and that's what enables you to have remote access to where you can open and close the garage door remotely. But another nice thing I, I like is that it has a motion sensor. So if you walk into the garage and it detects your motion, it'll automatically turn the garage light on, which is super convenient because how many times you walk in the garage, it's dark and your hands are full and you need a light turned on. So it's been super nice. Um, after a period of time when it doesn't see any more motion, it turns the light off. Uh, so it's been fantastic. One other added feature to the system is that you can actually add family members um, to where you can give them control where they can open and close the garage from an app that they put on their phone. They signed into it with their own email address. You give that email address access to your home and then you can assign a permission level as to what that user can do. 
Uh, so they can open and grow, close the garage, but they can't make any adjustments to settings. They can't add users, remove users. Uh, so that's been really nice. MyQ and Amazon have actually uh, developed a um, system to where you can use the device to allow Amazon to open the garage, put your package in the garage, and then close it. Um, this system that I have doesn't have that feature, but the newer model does. And they actually have a keypad now that's a video uh, keypad that you put on the outside of the garage that you can give access to. So I think I'm actually going to purchase one of those and try it out. And of course, I'll post a review when I do, uh, because there's been many times that I've wanted to be able to have things put into the garage because it's raining but really haven't had a way because you can't communicate with an Amazon driver. So I really think I want to try to test that system out and see how it works. Um, obviously, you know, you'll want to make sure that the inside garage door going into the house is secured. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to give that a try and I'll uh, let you know how that goes once I get it installed. Oh, and just one other uh, point that I wanted to uh, mention is uh, about the lights here in the ceiling fans, um, the Tapo lights, been a little frustrating, honestly. Um, I don't know if it's because they're Wi-Fi, but um, sometimes Google won't be able to control them. And with the automations I have set up, when it runs through the automation, it'll say that the lights are already off and it won't actually turn them off even though they're not off so it's like they lose that wi-fi connection but then i can come up into the bonus room and give a command and they'll come on uh, so i'm not really sure what's going on there but this is again one of those situations where um the phillips u lights just work i just don't ever have to deal with them um, there are some switches too the uh, tp link switches that we have downstairs they work fantastic too. I don't ever have an issue with those. It's just these light bulbs. And in my bonus room, I actually have my main firewall slash router. It's the main mesh unit of my Google Pods. So it's not like they're far away from the Wi-Fi controller. So at any rate, um, I probably won't be changing these out just because of the cost. Um, you know, we'll just have to kind of deal with it. But uh, it just makes me not want to use these type of Wi-Fi devices um, if they're going to act like this because it's uh, it's an inconvenience and it's you know I don't want to have to keep troubleshooting the the light bulbs every time something's not working. So, anyway, just wanted to mention that in case you wanted to uh, check those out, I would little give you a little point of caution. Well, that's all I've got for today. Um, so I just want to kind of get that out there and uh, let you know about the garage door function because it's, it's great. I would highly recommend you look into that. Um, and I haven't had any connection problems with it. It just works. Um, so listen, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe. Uh, kind of help keep the channel growing. Uh, this is kind of how we uh, get information out. And there's also affiliate links in the description for the devices I talked about. And if you do decide to purchase one of those devices from the link, um, I do earn a small commission. So I really greatly appreciate that support. And it definitely helps keep the channel rolling. Uh, so if you have any comments, please put them in the comments below. And you can also go to my website at www.a-to-zsmarthome.com and you can read the blog posts that go along with some of this information. So again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.